This cat is worth $2.3 million. The strange thing about that statement is this probably isn't actually the richest cat in the world. So we're gonna try and get there with this one today. I'm gonna sail all the way out and start catching a valuable fish. Mostly just because I know this is where the easy value hides. Our first fish of the day is something I've never even seen before. And we're losing parts of it quickly. Okay, we're gonna have the skeleton of something I've never seen before. This was a skiggle. It is now worth zero dollars. If it wasn't current a skeleton it would have been worth $24,000 but for now it's bait. What about one of you guys? I don't know if I've caught you before. Perfect. Now just try not to get eaten this time. Well these other fish are clearly going to be a problem. This is a dire trillo worth $18,000 so we're going to keep this one. It's really kind of unbelievable how many fish there still are that we haven't seen. I'm just casting into wherever spots in the water. So let's see if we can work our way back up to a bigger fish. We're going to settle on a puffer fish for now worth a modest $1,600 which means we're going to turn that into a bigger sized bait. It may not be as entertaining as a mustard fish but it's gonna do the job. Now we just need to hope to find something new. Okay well welcome. There's some kind of shark out here and I don't know if I've caught that one yet but we are going to catch it because there's just a lot of easy value sitting here. This is a tick tick worth $8,500. Get in the boat. This purple fish looks fun. How do I get one of those? It's too far out there. There's still so many fish. I don't know what they are and it's hard to know what to turn into bait because this is a little fish worth 10 grand. Do I want to have 10 grand bait? Yeah, I kind of do want to have 10 grand bait. And let's face it, if you're here for good financial responsibility, you're here for the wrong reasons. I really don't want that. I really also don't want you. Are you guys okay? Wait, that might have been a shark. I see the edge of a shark and another one of these things. There really just seems to be a shark somewhere on the edge of our vision that entire time mocking me. But as we level up, we'll unlock new crap to hopefully find him. This is a Swaller. Get in the boat. And I do need to catch a Bleeper, a Noctis, and a Tetra. But I'm not really sure where to find those. What I do know where to find is these idiots that are super annoying. Oh, wait. Look at the size of this thing. What even is that? It's so big. And we have some other new fish here. And my bait already got eaten. Or did it? Well, now it sure did. The tough part about being this far out is there's very few small fish you can use to work your way up the bait. Basically, you have to come all the way over to this coral reef, grab one of these things, which are usually pretty valuable, and sacrifice them for bait. This is a sea GP worth 16,500 though, so it's getting in the boat as well. This soulless fish is going to turn into bait though. I don't care what it's worth. $12,000, yeah, it's bait. As soon as we find a hungry midsize. I'm gonna go around those guys. What are these ones again? Baby scissor. Right, well we downgraded our bait but I was curious. While we're here, what are these and what are they worth? They're super annoying. They're a sour fish. Not bad value but we can do better. I don't entirely know what's down here but we're gonna try and find that shark or even him. Well, he didn't really give us much of a choice but he is some pretty good value. And that pink fish is also on my radar. As well as that pink fish and that purple fish. Not him though, these are boring fish. You know what does, yeah, get out of the frame. I don't even want to see you anymore. This of course is a dragon fish worth 120 get in the boat. This still counts as bait, you can't take that away from me. Pink kisser worth $4,900. I want to try and get one of those weird medium sized fish down here, like that weird purple thing I keep saying I'm going to get. Which is going to be easier said than done. All right, I'm going to try and crank away from it until we find it lurking somewhere out here. All right, well, I don't want any of you. Oh, there it is. Yeah, bite it, bite it, bite it, got it. Okay, we got three quarters of it so far. We have one quarter of it. That's still got to be worth something. That's a Blissey worth only $3,000. So we're going to take Blissey and attach a huge hook and a rocket and find that shark. Or whatever it actually is. Never mind. We've got one of these now. Maybe the shark wants to eat live bait anyway. No, you just want to straight up eat my bait though. That one looks so angry. This is a spine fish worth $2,250. We're going to try and turn this into a shark. We're just going to keep casting until we catch the damn shark. Who always plays hard to get and then we end up catching one of these. Okay, he's right here so we've got to cast just a little bit less far out there. That's okay. $5,000 a cast. What have I got to lose? Okay, didn't really... This is fine. We're still rich. Worst things have happened. We will persevere. Don't touch that please. Shark, shark, shark got the shark. It's not a very pretty shark but I bet it's probably at least decently valuable. This is a hammerhead for 150 that get in the boat. We found like eight new fish and I've just kind of been casting out here randomly, not even trying really to find new fish. Oh good, you want to eat that too? Might as well, everyone wants a bite of my fish. Stop, go away. A pink kisser will surely be able to turn this into something hopefully a little more valuable like you. Never mind, this is worth $2,200. Then what we're going to do is turn that into more money. Eventually, we those are so quick. 
We will find something new though. I forgot about these guys already. Do you guys want a bite of this? Are you guys good? You're freaking me out a little bit. I refuse to let my hook spoil, so I'm going to drag him all the way back to shore if I have to, looking for a shark that's willing to eat him. Mm, those guys probably don't eat live bait. I did get this guy though, who apparently... Well, whatever the case, we've got him. The medium-sized fish would also be interesting, but I don't know if I can get one of those. Mega hook unlocked? What's a mega hook? I'm excited for that. Hook large fish with any bait and catch the hugest fish. $50,000. Wow, talk about good financial decisions. Well, you get in the boat. That was only $10,000 though. And his friend left. All the way back into short, we're going to sell all of these for about half a million dollars. Which means we could probably go ahead and buy the buy the biggest boat for 1.5 million. Look how quick it is. We'll get out to the deep water in no time now. We still have 1.2 million dollars to spend on mega hooks. I'm not quite out of deep water, but as I was here, some weird green jumpy fish. You might have seen it there stroll by, and I was just kind of curious as to what exactly that was. To answer my own question though, I don't know. One of the nice things about this bigger boat though is that it can move faster through the water I think so I can actually outrun more fish than I used to be able to. I just saw my arch nemesis the swordfish again so glad to see him around but I was just working my way up the bait just so we could have larger bait to cast because before this was officially as far out as we could go. Now we can go way out to find even rarer fish. And apparently we can go a long ways out. There's actually a lot of water to explore in between everything. There's actually so much water that it's kind of stressful because I'm thinking about all the things I'm probably missing right now. But there's the end right Hello. at the little house. So we're going to go from here and cast as far out as humanly possible. Just kind of to see what's out here. This should be as far out. Ooh, look at this thing. Uh, and this thing, and that thing. There's so many things out here. Okay, we, uh, upgraded. So we're back on, it's like a squid that's crossed with a lollipop and also a porcupine. Please be valuable. Here, sir, $80,000. Get in the boat. I just want to take a regular cast for one of these little green guys. Uh, hi, who I want to see their value. This is a chaw worth $50,000. So let's upgrade for a medium size. That's going to be annoying. What else is out here? Uh, do you just, do you want to be a part of my hook though? I don't really want you to just eat my fish. What is that thing? There's so many new fish. Well, there's also that. I think for now the better strategy is going to be to cast straight down and hopefully be able to lower between everything. Casting out there finds a lot of those green fish. We need to get away from them quickly because they're very quick. And they're very persistent. They come from a long ways away. So I'm learning from out here. Basically, we're going to have to use a large hook because everything's going to come to eat our fish. So we just need to constantly upgrade our fish size. So we're going to go from this to a medium size to a big size, hopefully. You want a bite? Okay, now we can turn it into a super big fish as soon as we find one. Rob, what is... Do you see the size of that thing that takes up the whole screen? I don't even know what that was. I should have brought a light bulb. I think I understand what that mega hook is for now. So light bulb plus rocket plus mega hook. And we just got to get a good, that wasn't a great cast. But now we should be able to catch whatever that giant thing was down there. And we're maybe just going to use this guy as bait. Hopefully that works. Now where is it? It was somewhere here. Hopefully it shows up again. Oh, there's a big yellow thing too. Please bite. I spent $50,000 on this hook. I would kind of like to get some of that money back. I need to get something more valuable than this, please. Gotta be here. Ooh, what is this? Hello. You want a bite? Oh, you do want a bite. Have I caught one of these before? This looks familiar now that I have it. Whatever this is, it looks glowy enough to be valuable. That's how you rate things in life. The more they glow, the more they're worth. So this is a Lampus worth 250000 So I'll take it though. I'm pretty sure we caught one of those somewhere. But I'm actually just going to cast a regular large hook for uh, $5,000. Because I should be able to work this up into stronger stuff anyway. I'm also going to catch this really quick because I want to see what this is. This is a bitter fish uh, for $3,000. Got many fish so far. Still nothing that I need. Pretty sure I also forgot to spend $5,000 on a hook again. Oh, he's back. Y you need a mega hook. But he was back. Okay, I guess I'll wait for him there. Uh, another light bulb to refresh that timer and a mega hook. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this plan now. It's foolproof. So he was somewhere in this neighborhood, right? Could you please not do that? I mean, I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Oh, there he is. Bite it. Bite it. Bite it. Yeah, you, you want it. Did you just see my bait? Bite it. Uh, What? Do I need bigger bait? I don't understand this. Now he doesn't want to seem to come back. Wait, 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 come back. I want to be your friend. That's okay. I've got nothing but time on my hands. He's so sneaky. You never know where to find him. Hey, stupid this way. Come on, you can do it. Well, 
while we're here being annoyed by him, let's go down really deep to see if there's anything else lurking down here. Because I'm sure there is. It gets very dark very quickly though. I wasn't sure if I hit the bottom or not, so I just came back up because I couldn't see anything. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to try and catch something valuable with this fish, so at least I can pay for my $50,000 hook. Like you? You know? Yeah, there we go. Because once this moron is in the boat, I can look at my catalog to see exactly how to catch that monster fish. And I think these are worth $250,000. So I made $200,000 profit. But now we need to find some of the other stuff. The cave shark was worth $800,000. Though the abyssal is the only fish known to require the use of a mega hook. Well, I put that down in his face. He didn't seem to love it. Well, what's another $50,000 at this point? Maybe he wants only the mega hook and no other fish, but that's going to be super hard to do because there's a lot of hungry fish down here. Hey, hey, come back. And he always runs away as soon as I see him. And then this happens. Come on, bite it. Did I get him? Need bigger bait. You? Anyone? No? Well, at least out here it's very easy to work your way up the bait line. Because we just got to go like this, cast that down, turn him into basically... Well, what should be you if... um circumstances were better how far do these things go okay i'm finding a different fish okay there was another one well this is kind of an unwinnable situation okay i got my bowl fish back so now we're gonna use him with a mega hook plus a light bulb and then we're gonna see how much money we can burn trying to catch the abyssal pretty sure we can get him it's just gonna be a matter of actually finding him i don't know like if you can have a live uh, fish on the hook when the abyssal shows up or not i don't really want to risk that right now I'm going to circle around these guys uh, endlessly. Also, never seen one of those before. I'm very tempted to catch that, but I'm pretty committed to the Abyssal right now. That feeling, however, is not mutual because I haven't seen him yet. Wait, wait, wait. Where's your mouth? Yeah, we got him. Couldn't find his mouth for a second there. That was weird. Do we think this is a big enough fish, though? I'm just going to turn this thing into my boat. This thing is massive. I can eat other fish along the way. Yeah, come here. You get in the boat. This thing is the boat now. Abyssal, 800,000, get in the boat. I've got a million dollars, but I've got more value in fish on my boat. So I'm going to catch that deep sea glowy thing. Also, never seen one of those before. Oh, hey, what are you? Yeah, bite my hawk. Do it. Bite it. Okay, something please bite my... There we go. This is a furrow worth $12,000. I'm going to cast that back down to where that other fish is, because that other fish was more interesting. There's also a lot of other new fish that I'm very tempted to grab, but I've got one in particular. Already found him. And I already got him. Also never seen these things before. Press Q to go swimming. This is a lambi worth 18,000, which isn't a lot. But what I, what do you mean? Oh, oh, I didn't know I could do this. I don't know how this works. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, interesting. Uh, well, this is going to make fishing different. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. How far out can I go though? Because this is a wait, 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 give me that. Why do I press to catch fish? Can I catch fish or am I just scouting? I want to see what's out here though. Because the boat can't go this far but the cat sure again. There might just be nothing out this far because the boat doesn't go this far anyway. I think this is probably just for scouting. But we can find all sorts of weird things if we do this. Because this is a very fast way of looking around. There is also a weird new fish kind of under the boat. For now I'm going to go sell. Because I don't think I can catch whatever this is. But I think if I'm against the shore I should actually be able to catch it just by where it's going to sit. I was wrong about the other fish because apparently it can swim on land. But ask me how much I care. There's 1.7 million dollars. I probably should also be trying to catch the three quest fish. But I don't know where they are so I figure I'll eventually probably just catch one Along the way but i was kind of curious as to whatever th that thing was remember all these fish it's been so long since you've seen these uh also my obsessed fish seems to have left me now so that's odd but as of this point we're back into that new mostly uncharted water so we're gonna go just a little further before we start exploring again but we should start doing quests again because we'll eventually get a sonar and then a deep sonar but for now i like just kind of guessing so i think this nope well, we're going to cast at the house. I assume there's a landmark there for a reason. It's probably something of note here. Like, whatever that enormous thing is. Where did that just go? What was that? Oh. Oh, okay. So that would be the dragon fish that everyone's talking about. Or just a dragon or something. Hi, would you like to bite my hook, please? I won't judge you if you want. Ne no special hooks needed. So a it bites a regular hook and it's now storming for some reason. Uh, what exactly are we dealing? Dragon. Uh, he is highly sensitive to high frequency sound waves. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. I might need something better to be able to catch him. 
There's a lot of fish. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to cast down something like this and um, hopefully not that bites you. Uh, I'm not really sure how to approach this, but I need also a new light bulb. So the dragon, whatever, is circling. I don't know if he's able to bite this, though. I don't think so. I think we'll probably need something special to get him, though we do know where he is and he's not hard to find anymore. Unless we just need a little bit of bait. It said no special hooks required. So naturally, I'm going to cast down the most expensive hook in existence and hope that somehow works. Come on, stupid. You know you want it. Where'd he go? There he is. No special hooks needed. Right. Well, that's definitely the biggest fish because you cannot at all fit that on the screen. I'm actually going to ignore him for now because I don't think we have what we need to be able to catch him. And we're uh, pretty much just going to, uh, you know, cast a little bit over and see what's over here. Which so far is nothing, probably because of the stormy weather. I did, however, find a new cave. I don't really know what he is, but we can check the book when we get back. That, I believe, is a mammo. Guards its nest in the caverns under the coral basin. Worth only 15,000, so I'm not going to spend a lot of energy on boring fish like that. For now, I'm probably going to go back in... Uh, Word shore because I need to catch a Noctis and I know those are close to shore. In fact, I see one now, so I think I just need a little bit bigger bait and then we'll be able to catch them. But I got one of these, so there's their bigger bait. This is a bleeper, which we actually also needed. So let's see if we can find the bigger fish now, who's somewhere out in this area. Okay, he is right here somewhere. I don't know if he has a set path, but he was an inch away from my hook. He just swam past again, and I really think this fish is just pure luck. He's either going to happen by and to bite your hook, or he's not. There's maybe a way to like lure him in, but I'll check once I get back to the surface. But now I'm just hoping to get stupidly lucky, because that works out for me an alarming amount of the time. Okay, he's biting now that I mm, have this thing hooked instead, which is kind of curious, because that actually should have worked. You want to bite? Mm, never mind. So the Noctis, it doesn't really have anything specific about it. Should just be, you know, a big bait with a big hook. But you just maybe can't have a fish on the hook at the same time. Usually you can catch fish that way, but maybe not with this idiot. Uh, I was correct. I was just wandering through the water and well, here he is. Finally got him, 250,000, get in the boats. So now I just need to see if a tetra is a night fish or not. Uh, the tetra I don't think is a night fish. They swim in large schools and I don't know where to find them. But since I'm already sick of the nighttime, we're going to sell those for quarter million dollars and take new quests and then wait. We've got to catch one bagu. So we're going to scroll through all of these until we find the bagu. So the bagu is a large fish that swim very far from shore. Occasionally swim inland to hunt smaller fish. Basically what I'm hearing is go as far out in a boat as possible then cast out as far as possible and hope to find the right thing. Right we're at max distance that was pretty much a max cast so let's see what's hiding out here that isn't that thing. Or also any of those. Ooh that thing I would accept. Uh, I'm gonna need to work my way up the bait ladder though to be able to get one. Uh, Something want to bite my hook real quick then we'll work up to a medium fish like you. Then we're gonna see what this is worth. Is that a bagu? I can't remember what it looks like, but it actually looked kind of like that. This is a yellow jaw. I don't want a yellow jaw. I want bagu. Or better. Would also accept probably this thing, but I want to take a look at whatever this is lower than me. That's also a new fish. This fish just looks confused in every sense of the word, and therefore probably pretty valuable. This'll 140 grand. I think I'll take it. Okay, let's go back out to the deep water. Okay, this is just another thistle, so that's not actually that exciting. That's also a thistle. There's a lot of those around, so let's find something new again, if we can. While avoiding the annoying fish. I don't really know what this is or where it came from. I was just kind of coasting through the dark and suddenly we got something that looks like a frog, but not a frog. Well, kind of like a frog, but instead of legs, it has tumors. This is a slimy worth $14,000. So do you know what slimy? We're going to use you as bait for better fish. So we're just going to work our way downwards for a little while until we're either at the bottom or what should be the bottom. That's a new fish. What are you? We are way down here. It's going to take like 10 minutes to get to the surface. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm going to take this fish for a little walk just because I didn't actually think there was anything down this deep. I'm very curious to see what's here because this is way down deep and way far out. Anything over here? What else we got to play with down here? Well, there's more of these and this is as far out and down as I can go. So that's a very far corner from where we started. This better be incredibly valuable because it takes so long to get this to the surface. $60,000 for a Geiger. That's debatably even worth it. So let's go explore those caves that are at the very depth. Mission accomplished. I've at least reached the bottom. I don't know what I'm gonna find in here. I found like a bumblebee jellyfish. You want to bite my thing? This thing really plays hard to get. I'm probably just going to basically wait here for it because it's got to come back eventually. And I think I got it. I just... Can it fit out this way? Was this narrow? 
I don't remember. We seem to have it all free and clear, so let's bring it to the surface and see what this thing even is. There's also like a medium depth cave here apparently that I can't really explore right now because I've got this fish, but we'll explore that soon. Uh, there's actually a whole bunch of little caves and quite a little network here. 45 hours later, we're actually still not at the surface, but we are now, whoops. Didn't mean to let that go. I think that was $120,000 though. So this is called a germ. Only one of this fish has ever been discovered and little is known about it. Well, I caught one then accidentally let it go. So that's fun. At least I did still catch that. I maybe didn't get the value for it, but I caught it officially. Then I also eyed these ones on the way up. So I decided to catch one. This is a ghast worth $30,000, which we're going to send right back down to the deep because $30,000 doesn't mean a lot to me because I just wanted... Is that... Another one? Why is this one so close to the surface? Or was this the one I let go just being confused? Only one's known to exist and we might have caught it twice. Once again, $220,000 get in the boat. I sailed backwards just a little bit and cast it down with the mega hook. Just for fun. Okay, we're already in the Draken territory. I thought we'd be a little bit further along by now. But I did find another little cave. So this might come out somewhere fun. I think I'm definitely going to need some kind of like sonar to be able to actually get down here and find my way back out again. That is went through a bunch of very narrow little passages and I have no idea where I am. I did find this weird looking fish, uh, so we're going to take it for now. And apparently we're near the surface again. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but we're going to assume this is really rare and get it back up while avoiding those. This might actually be the fish I'm looking for, but we're not going to sacrifice this fish yet. But we are now. This is a Rana worth 9,000. So we're going to go big hook and light bulb. I also just snagged one of these, which is a Casper worth $80,000. I'll definitely keep that one. There's actually a lot of these in this area. Uh, they're just hard to get uh, because those other fish really want to eat them. And if you get, let them get too close, they absolutely will. We can also get a new quest for a dragon. Catch one dragon. So for now, we're going to sell that for $700,000, which gives us 3.4 million. And we'll deal with all that next time.